Hey, how you doing, Nerdy? Back with you as we continue our Let's Play of Stellaris. This, of course, is our vanilla play, uh, playing as the Borg, and thankfully Mabel Pickett hasn't been transformed into the uh, messenger race. Yeah, last time we had a little bit of the uh, whole uh, Signal Horizon DLC show up. Uh, one of our scientists was researching something, and, and anyway, he let loose a retrovirus. Now everybody on our home world is now these kind of... I, I don't know what type people mask and hood type people who who enjoy peace fanatical pacifists yeah so um i had to nip that in the bud so i i, I kind of stopped at the home world so thankfully the rest of our worlds are okay um and uh thankfully we're not all pacifists because that would be bad at this point all right so there is a hostile fleet why would that be bad <laughs> well because we're slowly trying to take over uh the galaxy really uh you know there, there's like no there's no hiding it now. It's just like this is what we're doing. We are, we're here for a good time, not a long time. No, we're we're uh, we're slowly taking over everybody. Hijani, uh, we're aiming to make those guys a vassal. Uh, yep. So uh, hopefully we'll we'll get that uh, on the go. So we do have a few different fleets moving around here now. They're I've I've broken up kind of my huge fleets into a few smaller fleets just to kind of speed up the war because we've taken out all the major uh, posing fleets so we should be should be safe with these smaller fleets so uh all right so i think our main thing now is we're waiting for our transport fleets to kind of make it to the front lines uh i did have like a whole bunch of trade districts they're all the way up there hey i wonder if i could get those down um, yeah, we do have like a whole bunch of armies that uh, are just kind of sitting on different planets that I took over previously, and I haven't really mobilized them yet, so I'm looking to do that, and also, it's on the go here, Void Skulkers versus uh, the Abvimians, okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're, well, this is the thing that's kind of slowing down the war right now, it's, it's the fact that we don't have any ground troops, so we are trying to build some more and we're trying to get the ones that we do have kind of into the war so I did notice that we do have a couple of armies up here uh, so that was where armies yeah hostile fleet engaged where is that happening first before I do anything else just want to make sure we're not in danger of losing anything it looks like one of our battleships has taken out one of their construction ships okay it's not a big thing yeah so we do have a whole bunch of armies uh, kind of up in this part of the map, but this is where a fallen empire once existed. So we know that the agrarian district, yeah, so we want to embark all those guys. And we want to build a whole bunch of defense armies here. And the industrial district is going to be the same thing. We want to embark everybody. And uh, 0.572 point. Kahemplar are our strongest troops. So we'll build up a whole bunch of Kahemplar troops there. Alright, so we should have a couple of transport fleets in this system now. So let's uh, let's get these guys together. And uh, also a construction ship for some reason. Uh, yeah, we're going to get the transport fleets bundled up for great savings. No, not for great savings. Why are we bundling the transport fleets? Because we want them to come down to this system. Now, here's the trick. Can they make it down there without getting attacked? How many jumps will that take? And what systems will it take, it through, take us through? Uh, mostly allied systems, actually. Okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, shield harmonics is done. Shield hit points plus 5% across the board. That is spectacular. Uh, construction time minus 5%. Uh, is that for ships as well or just buildings? Puzzle theory. Um, I'm hoping for that's, that's for ships as well because shaving off 5% uh, of our construction time would be spectacular. Especially since we're trying to build a whole bunch of armies now too. Um, I thought we took over his old scientists is getting leveled. Have they taken that back? It looks like they may have taken that back. Interesting. 
because I think we left that to our allies to take over. And our war scores dropped back down to 50%. Let's take a look here. Uh, space battle, space battle. Occupation. I don't know. I don't know. I thought we did take over Hizzle at some point, though. Could be wrong about that. Okay, so the transport fleets we have in transit now. How far away are they? One, two, three. A whole bunch of jumps. Uh, we do want to make sure that Hizzle is kind of free of enemies, though, since our transport fleet will be coming through here. We do have our allies. It looks like our allies are coming in to work on them. I don't know what happened there. If it was our allies who stayed there and were doing the bombardment, and now they're gone. They do have a transport fleet getting kind of killed off here by an a, uh, enemy battleship. That's not good for them. Hopefully they don't lose too many. And down here, we did take that planet, so we're still good down here, right? Yes. Looks okay. Uh, so we have to make sure we're still building ships. 14k for minerals. I can't believe how fast we're actually accumulating minerals right now. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get these guys to cycle through the battleships a couple of times. There we go. And we should be okay for now, at least until until some of our transport fleets actually make it to a point where we can uh, start doing some invading. Uh, this looks like a good spot for us to start building troops. Looks like we may have started already. Yes, we're building xenomorph armies here. What about, um, what about down here? Padrag Bowl. Padrag. Okay, so we have to fill up on defensive armies first before we do anything with that. We'll get you to build a bunch of Assault armies afterwards. It's the thing, I, we do have so many assault armies, it's just that they're really, really scattered around the map right now. Uh, Maka, where is that? That's one of the planets that we're occupying, right? Surface? Yes. Okay, so we don't want to remove those guys yet. Um, okay, so they're fighting for that system. We have allies in the Hizzle system, and our transport fleet is coming through there already? Wow. Didn't think you guys were that fast. Uh, the Boon system, we were building up the spaceport here. Spaceport. Yeah, so we can now produce battleships here, so we'll get them to produce them. And heck, why not build a, a corvette, since we do have a corvette assembly yard here. And it's been a while since we built one. And, okay, so our transport fleet has one more jump, and then we should be good. Are we building any troops at uh, Voon? I think we are. Looks like we do have a few transport fleets there. Armies. Yeah, keep building them, because we're going to need plenty more to continue our conquest of the galaxy. Uh, how does everybody feel about us right now, anyway? Uh, most people still like us, which is kind of funny, but uh, more and more people are, are kind of turning against us now. Um, and also, I have to look into the Zum, because they kind of showed up out of the blue at some point. They're pathetic, and they're by themselves. They have a single world. Um, can we... We don't want to be their vassal. We can offer them protectorate status after we're at peace, so maybe we'll try that but we have to be at peace first. So we're back to 65% for our war score now. Again, that's not going to go up any until we can basically occupy a few more worlds and uh, kind of get our fleets moving to different systems. Okay, so where's this fleet now? It's over there. This fleet... Okay, so this looks like they're ready to invade here. So we, we'll get you folks to land... No, land there good. Okay, so that's going to let us move to yet another system. I th I'm sure we took over Hizzle at some point, though. Uh, but I guess maybe I just left it to my allies. I thought that would be good enough, but they, they do have a blockade set up. I mean, that's kind of the main thing, because you get a nice bit of war score for that. Um, how are we doing? Are we building any? Yes, we are still... So we are building armies. I just want to make sure that we have enough to kind of finish off the war if we need to. 
Uh, where, so where are you? You are over there. What are you guys doing? You're entering orbit? Why? Yeah, you guys should be kind of following the main fleet here. So let's set you up to do that. Uh, transport fleet around Boone. They seem to be ready to go. So we'll get you to follow these guys as well. We do have a couple of bit around Pathavon, which are up here. Okay. So we'll get the two in the Pathavon system to follow this fleet. Okay. Okay, so we should be good to actually do a little bit more invading very soon. Uh, invasion has begun. Okay. So we're starting to take on that world. Uh, yeah, we do have some Xenomorphs here. That's good. That's good. That should make things a little bit easier for us. And surface... They have some turtle people. They do have some robots. That's one thing I, I didn't build in this game is robots. I have a sip of coffee to keep myself awake and cheerful. Of course, I try to be cheerful all the time, but I don't always succeed. Iron Fist... Dude, we're not becoming slavers or anything, so, you know, you can just keep that trait to yourself. Really? We don't have full-up defensive armies on some of these places? That's surprising. Build up some assault armies after as well. Alright, so we have taken another planet. Uh, I'm assuming it's this one. Yes. Punta Zed. And we do have some transport ships. Good. So we'll get you to follow you. There we go. And our fleet. So this is the second strike force. We'll get you guys to come over here, I guess. Uh, second strike force to this system. And there's a couple planets in this system. Very good. All right. So let's let's go to where their fleet is. Take them on. Maybe get a little bit more war score. We're at 55% now for war score. Um, it's because we have our, our ships kind of moving out. Um, so fleet engaged. Where? Transport fleet. Oh, no. Where is this? Sharat system? They got caught in the web. Uh, all I can do... Let's make these guys retreat. So where are they? They're up here. I don't know if they'll survive this. I mean, it's not a huge loss for us, but the fact that uh, the fact that we're going to lose some of these troops is kind of a bummer in, in terms of us being able to continue the war. 17 days. 16 days. Darn it. Darn it. Seven days. I think these guys should be able to defend themselves somehow. Two, one. There we go. Retreat. And our other fleet there. Retreat as well. Okay. All right. So where was this hostile fleet? This system. Okay. That this is where we just came in. So that's fine for us. Um, so we still want to keep building ships. Are we building anything in this system? Frakaz Erie? Again, doesn't have full-up defensive troops, which is very surprising. Okay, we do have a battleship construction yard here, but I would like the Fleet Academy and the Engineering Bay and the Crew Quarters and an Observatory before we do anything else. What about here? We have everything, and we can build battleships here, so we'll do that. There we go this up. So we're back to 63% for war score. Uh, fleet combat stats. Pablo! Pablo! I can't believe Pablo is still on the go. It's kind of funny, actually. It's on the go in this system. There is a very small fleet there. Not sure where they're going. Alright. So we should be bombarding that planet very soon. And... Uh, okay, this this transport fleet, actually, transport fleet 135, we should actually get you guys to go to this system. 
Yeah, because there should be a planet ready for invasion here. So transport fleet 130. There we go. Uh, 135, actually. Land armies. And who are you? Transport fleet 130. You're in this system. Okay, they're ready for the to invade here. Okay, good. Good. All right, so that's going to speed things up a little bit for our war. So we're at 70% for war score now. So we got, got to expect a, a couple of invasions to start. Um, what about you? Are, how are you guys doing for ground troops? So you're build up on defensive armies. Uh, all right, so start building assault armies as well. As many as we can muster. Because we would like to actually finish this war at some point. We're at episode two in this war <laughs> right now, and I'd, I'd rather not have it extend to an episode three. How are my allies doing here? They have a 2.2k fleet. They're facing off against a 1.1. They should be okay. Um, I could send someone to help them. Maybe not, though. So you guys, yeah, you're set to land there. Good. And our other invasion has started... Carry them all. Okay. It's all garrisons? It's kind of surprising, actually. Uh, Midradi are fighting the Tendraki. It's an interesting development. Okay, so we secured that planet. Alright, so Transport Fleet 139 now. Okay, so we're going to get you to follow you. No, don't move there. Just just follow that fleet. Follow that fleet. No, don't move there. You. It's too much stuff. There we go. Alright, so first strike force. Uh, where are we going to go now? Um, so was... What was the system we got caught in? It was this system. Okay. So we're going to get them to move over there. And just to take out that little warp net or whatever it is um, hopefully they can meet up with some more uh, transport fleets it's kind of my my goal for that uh, we should have another invasion going on down here right they land it yet no they're still making their way up okay and we're still sending in I mean we do have a uh, and an 80k force and 250k forces, so we're actually at about uh, 200k in terms of our strength. Jihad was still considered equivalent. Fleet power is inferior, though. It's not pathetic. Uh, this is the Zum again. I'll talk to you after the war is over. How about that? Um, all right. So yeah, we're cleaning out this planet. 76% now for war score. I mean, we're going to have to fight a few more or do a few more invasions to actually finish this off, but uh, I'm confident we can do that. Um, Alright, so we should have a fleet here, right? And they should be taking out whatever is in this mess. They've just basically surrounded... Oh, they gave up. Okay, uh, pause. Best possible outcome. Good. All right. Uh, invasion over. That's fine. We have one. So the Hajani are now vassals of ours. So we we don't need to conquer them. I do need to have a look at uh, yeah this again. Hunter's Prime. We suppress them. That doesn't put us into the red. And Iblean Prime. They all, they always have trouble. The Iblean suppress them. That puts us into the red though. Uh, we'll leave them alone, but we'll have to keep an eye on them. Okay, so the Zum, we actually want to talk to them now. Uh, so name should be under, it should be easy to find, they should be under the Zad. Communicate, uh, non-aggression pact, invite to federation, insult, guaranteed and independence. We want, uh, they don't want to be a of power, neutral attitude, distance. The, the distance is kind of throwing them. Where are they on the map? They're here? Is that the Zum? 
And they actually share a system with another race, the Zuffians. Hmm. I think we'll just leave those guys alone for now. All right, so uh, these guys are now our vassals. All right, so let's take a look at the Alliance of Federation status here now. Jahatma, they dropped down to plus two in, in terms of um, how they feel about us. Uh, so Nal Ether and Reheklar. Did we fight those guys last time? No, it was the Kroll and the Bruggins? See if I declare it. Can I declare war? Twenty-four fifty-eight. Okay. Um, I guess we had a recent war with them. Truce from breaking the line. Oh yeah, we broke our off our lines. We were a member of alliance with those guys, and that's why we haven't done anything with them yet. So let's check out the status. See if there's. I mean, aside from the Zum, I don't think there's anyone who's kind of independent. Uh, don't see it. Can we? I mean, I could take on the Zum just to reduce the number of kind of free empires out there. Um, so many transport fleets. Uh, let's consolidate these guys down here. Okay. Um, but I do want I want my invasion fleets. Where are you? These guys are in, in a fight with somebody? Is that right? And it's over with now? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just... I just want to see if we can actually move down here. There may be... Um, there may be borders that we can't cross. Looks like we can actually get down here, though. So if we declare war... And... We want to humiliate, because we need that influence... Defensive Pact Invitation. No, not with the Zufians. Um, you messed up my, my war declaration. We're, we're like attacking the weakest people in the entire galaxy right now. It's kind of sad, actually. Um, there we go. Communicate. Declare war. We want to humiliate you. And we want you guys to be a protectorate of ours. And we'll confirm that. All right. Uh, so let's try to consolidate all our fleets on this <laughs> poor, unsuspecting race. And see how that goes. Um, so after we take out these guys, we, we have potential of attacking uh, maybe the Nell Ethors, because I would kind of like to have congruent borders right now. Well, they are connected because they have this little kind of corridor, but I'd like this to be like one big old blob of, of green if it could be. Um, also, we're going to need transport fleets over here. I'll have to look at that. Alright, should unpause the game so our, our ships actually move out. Um, so our transport fleets... I need you guys to actually start chasing, start chasing that fleet. Okay. All right. So we'll take out the Zum. I want to take a look at the victory conditions. Try not to be too cocky though. Uh, victory. Uh, so we have over fifty percent for our victory conditions. Seventy-one planets. Conquest, we'd have to take out 12 independent factions. Federation, we're not doing it at all. Non-aggression pact with the Zuffians, not happening. Uh, how do the Zuffians stack up against us now? They're inferior. Fleet power is pathetic. Here's the thing, though. They are a member of this pact, and they do have a whole bunch of defensive pacts. One of them being Jehetma. And they're kind of the, the wild card right now. So we're going to continue to basically pick off the weaker kind of alliances and stuff. And at some point, uh, we'll face off against the Zuffians. They, they did manage to get like a nice chunk of space, but i got to put a stop to that. This is a thing too, like there's, there's so many little protectorates and stuff at this point. Uh... 
So, you know, it's not just attacking a single species anymore. It's never attacking a single species. A lot of people at war. Well, well, that's our war. At war with the Zum. That's that's us. Um, Madrati are attacking the Tindrakians and the Demazenians, which are these guys. Madrati is this group right here, huh? Haven't done anything with the Madrati. That's the kind of space slots, right? Uh, United Madrati, yeah. They're inferior, so they're not pathetic to us. No, they're space birds, okay. Tindar Tindrakians must be the space sloths. One of the groups over here is the space sloth, anyway. Uh, Zuckian Cartel, they're a protectorate under Themazenians. Themazenians, maybe. We tried to. Uh, Demazenian Empire. Who do they have defensive packs with right now? Nobody? But they're a member of the Federation. And that Federation is the Federation that we just fought. So they actually might be our next target. I'd, I'd, I'd be a lot more confident if I had like a nice big chunk of space here and then we could kind of pull a pincer on Jehetma. Minerals plus 5% across the board. Excellent. Uh, robotic army proves... I mean, we already have level 3 strike craft. I guess we'll go for better weapon speed. There's nothing really else to go for. Um, that's a Zum science ship. This is going to be the shortest war ever. Because we basically just need to uh, blockade them and, and we're done. Game of savings. Yeah, so you notice that I'm going more for obtaining people to be my vassals because I think it would take too long otherwise to try to take stuff planet by planet. Uh, so where is this Borg? Should have a bunch of fleets coming in, actually. Uh, no, we're not joining your little club. I'm sorry, we have our own plans for the universe and they don't include being part of anybody's little special club. I'm sorry. Um, should build some more Xenomorphs. Let's build one of each. Not that it matters. I think they're all the same. Spaceports. Again, continue producing battleships. That's the same. Well, not the same, but that's kind of the big thing. So I think uh, I think when we attack the Demazenians, we're going to have to have a fleet up here to protect our interests kind of like what we had last time, so we'll be able to take on the Kroll and the Reheklar, and uh, yeah, we'll do majority of the fighting in, in the Demazenian Empire here. That, of course, is the same spot with Hizzle, right? So it's going to take a few years before we can actually attack them. The first bouquet! Very interesting. We are maxed out on energy credits. Here comes one of our fleets. Uh, 40... Yeah, we have about 200k in terms of fleet strength right now. These poor guys, they probably just made it into space like uh, 20 years ago. Slowly built, been building up. They have 23 Corvettes. They don't even have any destroyers. And I'm just coming in like, hey, uh, you guys want a piece? Well, I'm going to give you a piece of something right now. And it's not going to be pretty. Come on, guys. How long is your warp wind down? You're still going? Good lord. Let's do the warp wind down again. Um, Raltech Alliance. Are they united with anybody? They're different from the. Uh, so, Raltech Alliance of Sons. So, they should be under R. R. Raltech Alliance of Sons. Okay, they are part of that federation. And they do have a defensive pact with us, so we won't be able to do anything with them for now. That's the thing. We do have a we did have a few defensive packs set up with other peoples, but we're mainly gonna be the aggressor for now. Oh, these poor Corvettes. You're facing off against uh, oh Pablo's not here yet. Pablo's coming though. 
and they probably have like early technology. Uh, yeah, level one connect <laughs> mass drivers, level one shields. You poor guys, I'm, I feel so sorry for you. No, we're not joining your little club. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have our own plans. I keep telling you this. You don't seem to listen though. Look at all the uh, strike crap coming in. All right. Well, let's start our bombardment. We have 58% for war score. They actually might capitulate before our troops arrive. Um, speaking of which, where are you guys? You're all the way up there. You are in this system. Where is this system? You're a few jumps away. Whoa! That's that's, that's quite the route you're taking there, friend. Uh, you are doing a big old dog leg, and you... Alright, so hopefully they'll they'll capitulate before <laughs> we're forced to uh, secure the borders. Military station cost minus 15, okay. Well, we have 95% war score right now, so hopefully they'll just give up. The chance that they might, I'm hoping they will. Um, and we should continue to build ships where we can. There we go. Alright, so we want to make sure that we're still bombarding here. We want to be ready for when our assault craft arrive, whenever that may be. Oh, there we go. Best possible outcome. We admit defeat, but do not think anything more than a temporary setback. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's definitely a setback for you guys, huh? Alright, so... Um, kind of eyeing these guys right now. So, Glomerate of Nal Ethor. Alliance. Uh... Are they not part of an actual federation, though? No, there they are. Uh, so they're associated with Beldross, who are up there, and Rahekla. So every they're all up here, hey? Migration treaty with the Hajani. I'm I'm okay with that. So we're gonna want our strike forces all up here then. In that case, so we'll fight them. Uh, Hajani, Beldross is right there. And where are the Reheckler right now? Is that them? Yeah, they're the dark green guys. Okay. And uh, I think our our butterfly friend should be able to keep those guys kind of under wraps. Uh, just want to take a look again at this stuff. Ibleen. Okay, so we have to suppress Ibleen now. It's starting to become a little bit of a threat. They're on strike. Uh, manage. Not going to grant them independence. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Once you're Blorg, once you go Blorg, you never go, you never get bored. Something like that. So we will. No, we're not joining your federation. So the the big thing now is we're we're trying to get our fleet up here. Why do we have a fleet not doing anything? You guys should be coming up this way as well. Okay. All right, so our strike forces. It's going to take them a little while to get across the Zephian te uh, territory, but we're not that far, actually. And has the amount of time passed for us to actually attack these guys? Uh, to uh, declare war, 2458, so it's going to be two more years. We can't demand vassalization. In Federation, minus 1,000. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to break up that Federation. I, th I think that's the Federation, though, that we were a part of for a while. And I was like, uh, nope, not doing it anymore. I'd like to control the galaxy now, please, and thank you. So many ships in transit. The fact that we still have an energy credit surplus, even though like we have 200k worth of ships moving around, is kind of impressive, actually. And speaking of ships, we got to build some more. So we might as well start putting in some orders. Uh, I'm really surprised that, our, that there's still spaceports that haven't been completely upgraded. Build a solar panel network there. Game saving, okay. Uh, what about over here? Nell Tigger, okay. 
Um, again, we'll we'll cycle through the battleship classes, and why not build a cruiser as well? Okay. So, second strike force. We do have one that's really close, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so, uh, time's ticking along. 10k, so we still have so much energy. Um, less and less people are liking us as, as time continues. I wonder why. These guys really don't like us. Uh, are they by themselves? They're vassal under the Demon's Unions. And the Beldross, uh, they are done for... They have a truce with us for another couple of years. Okay. As long as the Jehetma don't get involved, I, th I think we're, we're golden for a while. Has relative power. They're still equivalent, and their technology is superior. Naval capacity is pathetic, and their fleet power is inferior. Okay. We'll get there someday. If I can get their fleet power down to pathetic, I think you know we'll have a nice chance of whatever governor has, le has leveled up. Uh, Blore, yes. Are they still creating um, xenomorph armies? Looks like it. We should make some more battleships here, too. Armies. Yeah, they're still working on xenomorphs. Okay. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, but it's going to be useful in a war situation. So, it's the Abiums. They are a vassal. And that is the... They're a protectorate. They're not going to help in the war, but it's nice. I mean, the the Reheclar are kind of surrounded. They only got like two or three planets. Uh, I want to take out these guys, though, maybe. It might be the Reheclar that I take out first, though, because they're kind of the, the smaller. Actually, the these Beldras are the smallest. Can we get both them and these guys as vassals? Two for one. That's, that's kind of the question, I guess. Strike forces, they're still moving up, okay. All right, this is gonna take a while to get everybody in place. Gotta kind of run back and forth all, like, I played this particular saved game weird because I've been taking random bits of the galaxy. And it all started due to the fact that I was like, hey, there's a nice planet over here. And I was up here and I was like, our, our colony ship just should be able to jump across. They're like, hello, nope. Got to come all the way around here to establish our colony. So that uh, that kind of put us into the place we're in now. I mean, you know, we're not going to have a, a big green, nice big green colony uh, border here. But you know, since I'm not actually taking over any more planets, I think I think we're good for <laughs> for the number of planets we have to take over. How many more planets would we have to take over for our victory condition? Um, no, it's not this. It is this one. Conquest. There's 11 independents, guys. Uh, so let's see. We have 72 out of 126. So we need 54 more planets. Is the math right on that? 54 more planets than that? Since we only ever take like three planets at a time, that would take... A very long time to actually happen for us. Okay, so there you are up there. They're up there. They're up there. Getting closer. Getting closer. Just want to make sure that everybody is in place and we are ready to go. Um, are we building anything in any of these systems? We have a nice spaceport here. And it is kind of filled up in terms of the levels, but... Uh, we need to do an engineering bay, a crew quarters, a fleet academy, a observatory for a little bit of extra science, battleship assembly yard. Trying to squeeze out as much extra science as we can. What about this system? Uh, I'd say they're probably in the same boat. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go engineering bay, crew quarters, observatory, fleet academy, battleship assembly yard. There we go. All right. Are actually building any ships in the Blorgas system now? Oh, we can put in an order for a couple more. Uh, so we're, we're on the approach now of actually hitting our naval capacity. In fact, we could probably have over that naval capacity and support uh, a nice bit over that naval capacity. But anyway, uh, ally entered what? We're in a war? 
Okay. Uh, against the Raltech Empire. Um, so where are they? You cannot hide on Blorgas forever. Not planning to. Not planning to. Where are you guys? You're over here. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm just going to ignore that <laughs> for now. Because uh, I have no interest in the, this part of the galaxy. I, can I, could I actually negotiate for some stuff? Uh, no, we're not going to surrender. Yeah, I can't do any negotiation, so... Not really invested emotionally or physically in this at this point. Okay, so we got, we got so many like ships just like trailing along behind. It's kind of funny. Um, these systems, are we still building armies? Yeah, build some more basalt armies. Because we're going to need them. Same thing over here. Now Tigger. Build basalt armies here. And up here as well. Robothinar. More assault armies. Thank you. Why don't we be ready for some invasions? Okay, so the first strike force is ready. I think I'm going to keep my fleets as is. You know, I got a couple pretty much 50k fleets. Um, we do have this kind of a 100k fleet. I mean, the 100k fleet should be enough to take out anything by itself, and I'm hoping the 50k fleets are strong enough by themselves as well. First strike force, so you're ready to go. Second strike force... You're there, and the third strike force. Okay, so they're only a jump away. Cool. What are we building up here? We do have a few transport fleets. Uh, Spaceport should be building more ships, though. So I want to make sure that... Uh, the Bruggans and the Demazenians are now rivals? Did I read that right? I shouldn't have dismissed it so quickly. Um, also, our transport fleets, where are they now? They're still in transit. I don't want to get let, let these guys be caught unawares, basically. Uh, where are you? So you got to go through their territory, okay. And you got to go, like, all the way around. Wow, that's, that's quite the detour you guys are doing, actually. Uh, I, I, like, I don't want my transport fleets to go missing all the same, but I don't know. Because we do have, I mean, Lorgas has a a troop of uh, Xenomorphs ready to go. And I think that should be okay for the, the amount of fighting that we're going to be doing. Alright, I think I'm going to declare war here now. Because our major fleets are in place. If a couple of them disappear off the map for a little while, that's okay. Uh, so, let's talk to Nal Ether. Uh, 224806. We have to wait till June. Okay, so I guess our. We will have one transport fleet, I think, in range. What do we got up here? Well, Hellas. Haven't been up here in a while, actually. Um, yeah, let's, let's build some assault armies up here. How much am I spending, I wonder, in army maintenance? Nothing. Uh, energy, though. Army maintenance, 169. Ship maintenance, 1,000. It's kind of cool. And how is the relative power? They're still equivalent? They're still inferior. I wonder how many ships I need to build to actually be superior to them. Robothanar, are you building ships? You're not. You need level... Why don't you have a level 6 spaceport? It's kind of crazy, actually. Alright. So it's April, two more months until we can actually start to attack. The Bruggans are friendly. Why are the Bruggans friendly? Oh, they're in that war with us. Okay. 
So it's now Ether, the Beldross, and the Heckler. Okay. Let's try to take out the strongest first, I guess, which would be the Nell Ether. So it's May now, so it's just a couple more months until we can attack. And that poor transport fleet is probably going to be stuck kind of null space. It's got one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we shouldn't be attacking the Kroll when we attack these guys. Who are you? You're Nell Ether, your 11k fleet. So that's that's your fleet size, 11k. So yeah, we should be fine with with 40k fleets, I think. All right. Do we have is this ours? Looks like it is. Any planet here? No, it's no planet. Okay. Uh, how's our spaceport upgrades going? Fleet academy and a battleship assembly yard. There's no point in building the battleships until we build the battleship assembly yard because we want to make sure that we build them for cheaper. If we can. What is this world? There is a uh, primitive species here. Early space age. We should actually... Um, do we have a, a construction ship close by? Yeah, we should actually build an observation post there and uh, bring those guys into the, uh, the warp space age. They'll be a protector of ours. That means we'll get a little bit of influence. And that means we won't have kind of a, a a neutral party just popping up in the middle of our systems here. We don't want that. We don't want that. Okay. We should be able to declare war now, right? Declare war. All right. So we don't want to. So we want to humiliate them. We want to stop atrocities, because we do need some more influence. And what do we want? We want to vassalize. We can't vassalize now, either. We could vassalize the Beldross. And we can't... Make tributary. We can make a whole bunch of people tributaries at one time. Yeah, we can't actually do any vassalization, so... Can't make them a tributary, it costs too much. But we can make the Beldross. And these guys, tributaries. Alright, opponents, conglomerate, united, Heklar, Beldross. So let's confirm that. Station under attack. Okay. Construction ship under attack. Where? Where? Okay, yeah, we're, we must be sharing a system with them. Um, they do have a few... Where is, where is Elgor? It's up here. Okay. Um... It's going to take us too long to build a uh, build a fleet up, so let's send one of our smaller strike forces up here. Hopefully our allies will step in at some point. I mean, I could start pumping out corvettes, I guess, to act as kind of a distraction. Uh, We have a 1.9k spaceport, so I don't know if that's going to help any. That one's 1 1.3. Alright, so what else? Who else are we fighting here? Um, so we have these guys, so we're going to grab our smaller fleet for here. They have a 5k fleet, 1. Point, actually, they have a couple planets here. Okay, that's, that's okay, actually. And we want our large strike force. Really? There's a planet all the way over there? Let's take our large strike force and we will strike them at the heart. Okay, and actually we'll get these guys. This is like a random fleet that is not doing anything for some reason. So we'll get these guys to come into Elgor as well. 
we can. All right. So yeah, unfortunately we might lose. We have one. Okay, so that was the other war. So I mean, they are their fleet is kind of trapped between our two spaceports, so that might work in our favor. Basically, we have a two point two k fleet, which is no, we have a three point two k fleet. Why are you only 1.3, though? I don't know. Oh, we'll continue to try to build corvettes just to act as distractions, I guess. All right. There's a single corvette. And there should be a corvette coming up here. Uh, they did have a military station, station built as well. 2.0k versus our two spaceports. This corvette's done for. 1.9 versus 1.9. I think we should be fine. Plus we had this military station. Can this get upgraded? Probably can. I don't build military stations myself, but... Whoa! Where do you guys come from? You are a very large fleet, actually. Okay. So where is... Oh, you guys got a few jumps? Okay. So yeah, we actually might lose a few things in this system. It's too bad. It's too bad. It's not the system, it's Al Gore. Again, not to be confused with the Al Gore system. Alright. Well, that's okay. We'll just have to wait for our, our fleet to get up there and kind of wreck them. I'm going to wreck it! Alright, so this strike force is wrecking them down here. So we'll have like one system for one system at, at the start, but we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Let's hostile fleets engaged. Okay. So El Gore, I'm guessing, yeah, they're gonna start bombarding one of my planets. That's fine. I'll put us into ne negative war score. Te uh, negative war score technology. Not technology. Territory for a while. We want to chase this fleet. But we'll be okay. Okay, so you guys are bombarding their main world, right? Yes. Nth to the nth degree. We have 12% war score. That's the thing, if we're making these guys tributaries, then that puts us closer to our uh, conquest victory. Because every uh, independent empire that we can take out, it's, it's good for us. Paris complete. What do we have here? A couple transport fleets. Oh, they moved their 10k fleet out, didn't they? Okay. So where are they going? It's not you guys. You guys are fighting. Military station. Okay, so that's that's the guys who are chasing over the, the larger fleet. Alright, oh, and we have 12k worth of minerals and stuff, so you should probably... Put in a, some, a few more orders for some different ships. Um, let's see here. Spaceport. Really? You haven't been upgraded? What do we have here? Well, there's like a an actual 11k fleet here as well. Okay. In that case, you guys should attack you guys before we lose anything. I just uh, we'll have to be, play a little bit of cat and mouse, I guess, to make sure that we uh, take out their various fleets. That's why I hate multi-front wars. Alright, so who are you guys fighting now? You guys are fighting a tiny fleet. Uh, you guys, what are you doing? You're jumping out to go there and strike force you guys are bombarding there okay 
All right. Yeah, so we just kind of got to catch them and, and take out like their their major fleets, and then we're kind of ready to roll. Um, you need to pump out battleships. Okay, so you're moving to intercept. Good. And what are you guys doing? You're moving somewhere. All right, so the first strike force. Okay, so Nth should be able to send transport fleets up there. Uh, so that was transport fleet 142, I think. 142, okay. We'll get you guys to land here. Hopefully you, you don't get caught with your pants down somewhere. Alright, so have we started attacking these guys? Well, there's a single transport fleet that's going to give up its life. It's too bad. They were brave marines, I guess. What's up to go in the Elgore system now? We do have this single battleship. It's probably not enough to take that planet by himself. He's just kind of chilling there. All right. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess right now to try to get everyone in place for the war. But once we do, we should be good. Uh, 1.2k. There's. We do have a fleet over there. These guys are engaged. Okay, so they're they're taking on the 10k fleet. And these guys are getting repaired, which means they're not doing anything. All right, so where are you? You're in the Imdar system. Any other fleets around that we should worry about? Not you guys. Uh, there are no planets here for us to invade. So let's go over here and start bombarding. Okay. So we do have a transport fleet moving up there. And how we doing back this way? Have we won yet? 7.7k versus 48. And our transport or our strike craft are just coming in now and they're just going to get ripped up. Yeah. Oh, the humanity. 3k. 2k. 1k. There we go. Alright, so this system is good now. So you are the first strike force. Okay. So let's head into the Al Gore system and kind of do some cleanup here. We can invade that world. So we'll do that. They sent their fleet after this single battleship. My battleship has a better fleet power than them, but he is kind of outnumbered at this point. Uh, you guys are in the system and you're not doing anything. Why is that? You're just kind of sleeping. There's a 9k fleet here as well. Okay, so you folks should actually be going after this 9k fleet. We don't want any surprises, basically. You are going to sacrifice yourself on this fleet until our larger fleet comes in. Till our ship comes in, basically. Uh, how's the system doing now? Uh, spaceport upgrades still? Come on. Come on, guys. Uh, can we build ships here? Nell Tigger? Yes. Game is saving. 29% for war score now. It's just kind of a mess to kind of isolate everybody to make sure that we can pull a win out. Looks like our allies are starting to come in to help out. One of our fleets is in combat. Okay, so that's the guys attacking them. Uh, there is a 800 size fleet moving down there. Is that a ring? Okay, so. no, we don't need to talk to the Hajani. You guys are going in for that uh, that that system. Hey, good good luck with that. 
Alright, so what are you doing? Alright. Are they jumping out? Please don't be jumping out. Following the attack swarm, where is the attack swarm going? They've jumped out. Oh, we have an invasion going on, finally. On Nth. Uh, hopefully we have enough troops. 0 0.93 and 1.87. We're 2.15, so we're stronger than them. But we're definitely outnumbered. Well, we do have some more transport fleets coming in. I don't know if they'll make it in time to actually help out. Uh, we are tearing through their garrisons pretty good. Okay, you're you're the guy in the Imdar system, right? Yeah. Oh, it must have interrupted their jump out, so his sacrifice will not be in vain, assuming that these guys can actually get to a point where they can start firing their weapons. That would be great. Admiral... No Admiral, okay. The Tempest 6. Alright. Um, and I guess uh, he is gone. He We have lost him. Alright, so we should be able to catch them before they jump out. We're at 38% for war score. No, I guess we couldn't catch them before they jumped out. Darn it. Okay. Uh, oh, we've actually taken over this planet. Okay. So we want you to follow you. So that's one planet. Uh, so our large fleet here. I, I could actually break up my forces again, I think. Uh, let's go down. Yeah, let, let's attack down here. Seems to be a little bit of action down this way, so this is where we'll go. What are you doing? That's... okay. You guys need to rebuild your spaceports. Spaceport. Build. And spaceports. Build. Fleet Combat says we lost a spaceport at Isval Prime? Really? 9k fleet. Is that the one that we're chasing? Uh, where is Isval? Up here. Our allies are in the system. Okay. It's a bit of a bit of a chase around the galaxy to get stuff done. So this this particular war um, is actually going to take a little bit longer than I thought it would. Really, they're moving into this system. You guys really want to do that to me? Robothanar? It's just getting its spaceport built. Um, upgrade it. We should maybe move this transport fleet out to follow these guys. No. Uh, we want you to follow... Follow them. Eventually you'll make it to the main fleet. So second strike force. Yeah, I may may break these guys in, in half. They'll give us like a 50k fleet and a 45k fleet. So I think we need mobility more than anything now. So this guy's being chased. Another station's being attacked. It's time to go here. Oh, did we actually catch up with them? Looks like we did. Good. So we should wreck these guys. I want to wreck it. So we're at 30% for our war score. Yeah, so it, once you get into a war with multiple species, it definitely gets a diplomatic proposal. Uh, minerals for energy credits. Sure, why not? I'm for that. Are we building anything in Blorgas now? Uh, Spaceport. No, hey. Continue to produce battleships. 
transport fleets are under attack. Uh, Debux system? Really? Size fleet are at 451. God, you guys gotta be kidding me. How much longer till we can retreat? 15 days. Alright, I am... Well, they gotta be... They gotta be not fighting for me to do this, but I'm gonna break these guys in half. Just so we can have a little bit more mobility. We'll have basically a bunch of 50k fleets. Alright, so split. Uh, so we want the 10th strike force now. To go into this system. And mess up this planet. Can we retreat these guys? We can now, okay. So yes, they're missing in space. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, no, we're not going to join your federation or whatever the hell it is. There's a military station there now. Research is done. Border range plus 10%. I don't know if that helps us any, actually. Side jump drive. Sector, sim <laughs> sector limit plus one. Hydroponics farm. None of these real appe really appeal to me, but I'm just going to go with that. Okay. I'm actually going to wrap things up there for now because it's been uh, this war has actually dragged on for a lot longer than I thought it would. Anyway, if you liked the episode, think about liking the video. And if uh, you want to see more, think about uh, subscribing to the channel. We'll see you again. Take care. Have a great day.